Hello! It is officially Ren Fair season, and I personally do enjoy dressing up to go to the Ren Fair. Historical accuracy is not the thing that I strive for, but it's fine. And with that in mind, I do intend to bring my dog along this year. And as adorable as he is in his naked form, one, he is going to need to be leashed. Um, that's just a given. But two, I was thinking, I'm going to be dressed up. Why shouldn't he? And because I like to overcomplicate things, I'm not just gonna go and buy his costume. I'm gonna make it myself. And because we're not completely basic, we're not gonna go with the standard costume. See, because everyone dresses their dogs up as royalty, which makes sense because he's an absolute prince. I thought it would be adorable to have him dressed up in a suit of armor. You wanna be my knight in shining armor, Kirby? So that's what we're gonna build today. Oh, baby on. So looking online, there weren't a lot of reference photos that I really liked, and especially for dogs. But I did see this photo, and I really like the way that this one looks. So this is kind of the vibe I'm going for. One thing I have noticed with most pet armor, it's made with leather, which is expensive. Um, I'm working on a little bit of a budget here. So we're not, we're not going with leather. So instead, we're gonna be working with foam. It's quite a bit lighter, and if I mess up, it's not gonna ruin me financially. So my basic materials, I do have a harness, which is what I'm going to kind of more or less build on. And then I got two different kinds of foam. One is this kind of cheap crack foam that you get basically anywhere that you shop for like kid craft items, mostly because it was really cheap. I figure this will be really good for drafting, proof of concept, um, all of that. I do have EVA foam, which is what cosplayers usually use to build their costumes, so I figured this might be really good. Um, and if all else fails, I do have Warbla but it's expensive and I'd rather not break into it if I don't have to. This is all about Ren Fairy and on a budget. So before I get started with anything, I need to get Kirby's measurements so that I can cut everything out to his size. So let's bring Kirby back. Kirby! Hey baby, can I measure you? So I didn't really have any rhyme or reason in terms of what measurements I captured. I just captured everything that I thought I would need, um, including measurements with the harness on, just to make sure that I had everything that I needed to work with to make sure that I had the best fit the first try. Okay, so I have Kirby's measurements, and now I've got my paper and my pen, and I'm gonna just draft out basically the shapes that I see here, and then We'll cut those out and see how it goes from there. Okay, so this is my template for kind of the first main harness chess piece. Right now I am considering possibly splitting this into two um, because I am concerned with the shoulders being right here. Um, I don't know how well that foam is going to flex, but for right now I just want to check fit. So Kirby, so I'm basically just going to place this over him, kind of make a mental note of what's working, what's not. So basically what I'm seeing is that this V here is a little too deep, so I just need to shallow that out a little bit, and then um, I think that the width overall is pretty good. Split this down the middle give it a little bit of overhang here, so I'll have one that's kind of hanging out underneath the other, and then I'm gonna make a few more pieces that are, well, let's send this further back because we have quite a bit of um, back space because this is really only um, covering just past the armpit area. So I think we can push this pattern a little bit further back with a few more panels, and then we'll do kind of the scales of the design. All right. Back to the drawing board, okay? Okay, so now we have kind of these two panels and they're not like fully attached, they're just attached to the top. Um, and then we have kind of a secondary panel that I think will go underneath, um, which again will not be fully attached. I think it's mostly just attached at the sides because then more or less this will kind of curve to the, the, the body 
um, this we might need to do some adjustments. I might have to do a proper um, side attachment like I do down here. Um, but first, let's see how it fits. Okay. That's better. That fits better along the neck. This is a good proof of concept here. Um, but yeah, I think we'll have to take some of this attachment off because it's not really helping anything. It forms to the body a little bit more, um, gives them a little bit more range of motion, which is what we want. Um, I like how this sits. I think I'm going to have to round up just up here a little bit more because that's a little tight to the neck. So I think I'm going to have to round up right around, right around here a little bit more just because it's a little tight to the neck. Um, but I think we're pretty much there for the back. So I'll need to make another panel um, to go behind this first one. But I think it'll be pretty much an exact duplicate. And then we can work our way into the um, scales. So at this point, I think I'm feeling pretty confident to move on from the paper template and transfer this to foam. So let's get started. Apparently I forgot to record this part, so basically all I did was take apart my paper template and trace it out onto the foam, cut the pieces out, and then I also created the little spine pieces that you see kind of in this footage, and I'm just attaching that to the foam pieces, so that's all you missed. So anytime I do this kind of project, I forget how much time it takes for glue to dry. Never take that into account for how long it's going to take. But finally, we have this. Um, I'm going to add, I think, one more element to the tail. Um, but this is what we're working with. I think this will work pretty well. Um, it fits in perfectly. So again, I think I'm just gonna add maybe one more tail. And then, while I wait for that glue to dry, I have a bunch of smaller sheets that I'm going to use to cut basically shield-shaped shapes out of and I'm hopeful that I can use my Cricut for it because that will save me a lot of time. So let's try that out. pretty promising but the most important thing is does it fit so, okay so I think that fits pretty nicely it's pretty good I just have this little piece that's just gonna go right in front and it's just gonna attach to the front I think this is good um, we need to color this because it looks kind of hideous right now, so we're going to spray paint this real quick. So, let's go outside. So this is where we're at right now, kind of the main body, and then I have the front piece. What I want to do next 
is actually go over this with another color um, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension, make it look a little bit more worn down. So we're going to do the spray paint and then we'll go in with details. I want to do some weathering on this just to make it look a little bit more aged and used. And then I have little brads to um, basically create the illusion of rivets throughout the entire thing. So really after one more coat of paint, it's all about the details, which is where the fun really is. So let's get started. Okay, so we're painted, we're mostly dry. It's a little tacky still, but it's dry enough to work with. And now I'm going to go in with, I have a bunch of these little brad pins, usually used more in paper crafting, that I'm just gonna kind of put in places that sort of make sense for holding pieces together. It'll add a little bit of reinforcement, but really it's more for decoration. So we're just gonna poke those in. Okay, so now we have everything riveted. Um, I touched up the paint just a little bit. And now it's looking kind of flat. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take some black paint, um, mix it in with some water, maybe add a little bit of brown paint, um, and just kind of weather this a little bit. Um, and really what I'm gonna be doing is sort of deepening some of the shadow areas. So making the scales pop a little bit more, making these um, plates pop a little bit more. I'm making it look not brand new. So that's what I'll be doing next with both this and the front plate. So let's get started. so much better. I don't know that the camera's capturing it, but it looks like actually worn and a little aged. Um, same thing with the front plate. I'm really happy with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get Kirby in here, um, and kind of size them up, and then we're going to glue the Velcro to it. Um, I'm hopeful that just some hot glue will be strong enough, but we'll do some testing and then I will see you for the final reveal. See you in a minute. So reflection time, we have to do it quickly because my battery is about to die. Um, I love this. Kirby's able to move pretty freely with it. It doesn't impede his movement much at all. Um, the only thing that kind of gets in the way is the front panel and even that it's super flimsy. So it's not like, okay, bye. It's not like it actually impedes his movement. He just kind of bumps it when he walks. It holds up pretty well. He can walk around in it. He can shake out in it. Um, he can run in it. The only issue that I really noticed with it is along the back, one of the plates um, doesn't quite sit right, especially if he's like bowing. I think it's largely because these plates are a little bit longer than the ones before it, um, so the ones that are over top of it, and so it just wants to butt out. But I love it. It's super light and it works and it looks really cool. So the other thing that I really like about it is that it is detachable. Um, so the Ren Faire is obviously outside. If it starts to get too warm, I could take it off 
and it's not a big deal. But overall, I'm really happy with how this project turned out, especially for how quickly it turned out and for how cheap my materials were. Um, I did find that I didn't really like the rubber cement. It took forever to dry and it just sort of soaked into the foam and it just was not working for me so I switched to hot glue and it worked beautifully and it seems to be holding up really well. The foam's more likely to give up than the glue so overall really happy with how it turned out. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Like, favorite, subscribe, I don't know what YouTubers say anymore. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I will see you next time. Okay, thanks, bye!